Showtime! Hello, my name's DJ Shelley, and we are on the... No, I'm not Australian, but I do like to speak in funny accents. Okay, so getting serious. My name's DJ Shelley, and I'm here to talk to you today about the differences between a self-powered speaker and a non-self-powered speaker. What does that mean? And if you are a new beginner DJ in the market to purchase a set of speakers, what's the best option for you? So we're going to talk about three things today. Number one, what's the difference between a self-powered speaker and a non-self-powered speaker and what does that mean? Number two, we're going to talk about pricing and quality. And then number three, what's the best option for you? So first, let's talk about the self-powered speaker. What does that mean? This is the JBL 515 XT. This is a self-powered speaker, meaning you can actually plug your computer right into this speaker. So you are actually excluding two pieces of equipment. You do not need a big, bulky, heavy amplifier, and you do not need a controller or a mixer. You can actually, again, plug your computer right into this speaker, and it will work by itself. So it's, it's awesome. It's extremely convenient, especially because you're taking away two pieces of equipment. So two less things you need to carry when you're going to DJ an event. This is a regular speaker, meaning you do have to plug this into an amplifier or it will not work. You also have to have a mixer. So, um, but the quality is not lacking. These are both JBLs. They're both very good quality speakers. So now let's talk about, now you know the difference between a, a self-powered and non-self-powered -self speaker. What does this mean to you and what are your best options if you're a beginner DJ starting out? Um, what's the best option for you. Most of the time if you're a beginner DJ you're working on a budget. So you really just want to think about your particular scenario. Are you just starting out getting your feet wet DJing for friends and family events? Or are you actually ready to jump in there and start DJing corporate events, sweet 16s, or weddings? So what is your particular scenario? And that may help you make the best decision. So let's talk about pricing. This JBL 515 XT, you pay for the convenience of having the self-powered speaker and the quality. These speakers are going to run you approximately seven to $800 for one speaker. That's a, a nice uh, chunk of change. However, one of these particular speakers that are not self-powered but still have excellent quality may run you around $200 each. And if you purchase used ones, it might even be less. So you may actually be able to purchase two high quality speakers, non-powered. You will have to purchase the amplifier, but believe it or not, you could purchase those three pieces of equipment. Might cost you the same amount of money as purchasing one JBL self-powered. So again, you're really paying for the convenience. What are your other options? Your other option, you can purchase a self-powered speaker that's less expensive. There are some out there that are only, only going to cost you around $200. However, it's not going to sound like a JBL. The sound quality will be okay. So in this scenario or this option might be best for you if you're just getting your feet wet and you're DJing friends and family events where the sound is going to be okay. You're going to have the convenience of the self-powered speaker. And you know what? The self-powered speaker is the way the industry is going anyway. So it will help you get used to working with the self-powered speaker. So there you have it. DJ Shelley's uh, tutorial or tips on self-powered speaker versus regular speaker. What might be the best option for you if you're a beginner DJ? To subscribe to our YouTube page, Twitter, and Facebook. Sounds by Shelley.